Irishman David Brady takes his stand with Meg for the final run. And perhaps they're the personalities of this competition, David and Meg. Watching the sheep at the top of the field. Confident, maybe. And there she is. She's stolen all our hearts, I think, as this, this wise bitch. We're on the right. Where goes Meg. And I'm expecting something good from her. She hasn't let us down yet. Raymond set a very high standard, but David and Meg can emulate it. They can beat it, possibly. They're going well now, anyway. She's going grand. Knows where she's going. She's going for a sheep. Keep going, lass. Keep going. Going in the right direction. Sweep round there. Behind the tree. You watch it, watch it. Yes, yes. Encouragement. Whistle. Point gun. 19 out of 20 scored. Point dropped on the arrow. Sweetly away at the post there. Sweetly, sweetly away on the lift. 10 out of 10 scored. Full point. A nice pace. No panic, no push, no hurry. Just gently walking down there. Through the gates and bending away. Come on round, lass. Between the trees. Much left to make here. David can't see this. The judges can, of course, but... David can't, and we're leaving it to Meg, and we can, we can rely on her. She'll do the job right. No push, no hurry, just sweetly moving them through the street. And sheep need pushing through a stream, don't forget. They hesitate. Nice line. Tick, tick, tick. Got to start looking for, really looking for faults, haven't you? Probably, if anywhere, just a touch on line, but no more. Drops them to the end of the fetch. Nice and steady. Got her own action, hasn't she? She sort of glides across the ground. Hypnotic in her action as well as the power of her eye. And there can't be a right lot wrong with this stretch. Stand, 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 and there's only only one point wrong with it. 29 out of 30 for the fetch. At the halfway stage, that gives David Brady oh. a running score of 58. That's just level pegging with Ray McPherson. I'm going ground, Phil. Drive away. They're not hesitating. They know that Meg's behind them. They know that Meg has the power to, to move them, and they won't dispute it. One is, but no. <laughs> Won't face up to her. Comes away. And she's in control. The archway. And come to the end of the archway where we've got to be extra careful. Remember that we've got to gentle this sheep around this corner. Down there. Now they're stopping. It's a it's not nice when sheep stop like this, they can suddenly bolt. Now Meg knows this. She's just stalking up very nice and quietly on them and there can't be much wrong with her actions. As she worked it, the gentle bit. Just come away a bit rough, but not too much dog, but bad luck I'm afraid, but you've got to lose points on that. They came away, see, they've come away bad, but he's still keeping in touch with the maestro. He's, Raymond must know that his, his, those scores are getting very close. Good lass. David will be having a few butterflies now. He's had a good trial. He's in there. He knows he's well in there. Well on the way to 
winning this great competition and 28 out of 30 on the driving, dropped two on that turn. Whew, and with just the Shedigan penning to go, Brady and McPherson are still equal with scores of 86. Just uh, remember that Raymond dropped two points, uh, Phil, in this ring, and uh, so David and Meg are in, are in with a great chance of victory. Oh, yes, they're too soon there, David. Oh, now then, that's that's a fault. A fault. He took a chance. Got the red coloured sheep, of course, but has to make a little bit too soon for that, I'm afraid. Every point is vital. You can't make mistakes like that. There's a red coloured sheep, one of them. Raymond watching. Keenly watching. There, again we go. Oh, take it, take it, mate. Oh, now then, now then, it's suddenly getting disastrous, is this? He's losing a lot of points. Ask, you're asking too much, David. Come here behind you, here. It's down, it's down, come back. we've got to gather them and there's an awful lot of points, John, I'm afraid. Cool it, cool it, steady. Back we go into the shedding ring. Got to start all over again. Come, come. It's down, it's down, it's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. Here, here. Down. She's ready to come. Ready to come when she's asked, but she... Here, here. Now there's a sheep on the right. I should think that is the one you want. If she stands there, just try and take that one on the right. And there. And the, the sheep. Now, come through that. Come through, come through. Come through, come through. Steady, 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 that tail up. A little temper. Sign of a little temper. She's probably getting a little fed up with that. And what are the judges going to give him for this lot? Only one, only one out of ten, out of ten I'm afraid. That's, that's disastrous. Oh, it is a disaster, I'm afraid, Eric, for the Irishman. He's now dropped seven points behind McPherson. Yes, let's have a, let's have a grand finish, Mick. And it is, yes. They go in there. Well done. Is Boston. Ten out of ten for the pen. That's 97 scored. A great trial, and as in the brace, it all ends on the shedding. Raymond, the winner, tries across to commiserate with David. Been a great contest. And everything, hasn't it? Action. And there's Thomas, brace winner, a double win for England. Well, Raymond McPherson, that makes you the singles champion. Congratulations. It was uh, another very, very, very competent run, the sort of thing we expect from you, and you're, you've got the One Man and His Dog Singles Championship. Thank you. And jolly bad luck to you, David. And uh, it's very bad for my digestion watching that. I don't know how you get on, but it really, it really got me steamed up. Now, you, you won the toss, and you put Raymond in first. That's right. Now, when he did a good run, how much did that key you up? It certainly does get you keyed up, but um, I think watching another run tends to let you know exactly what you have to do. Put it like that. It's, um, I think it's a bit like playing cricket. You know, you, you sort of let the other people bat and, and see how they do and hope you can do better. Well, you, you put it to the test because when you came into the ring, you got a, an absolute villain, didn't you, to, to, to part? Well, I think it was as much my fault as it was the bitch's fault. I think I was a bit keyed up tense when I came into the ring and the, I, I, I think I, I pulled her in when I shouldn't have pulled her in. And it was uh, two very, very good runs and we've all enjoyed it enormously. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And what pleasure the dogs have given us too. Trialling is their recreation, but it's in their work on the farms that they really prove to be worth their weight in gold. <laughs>